Hello, welcome to today's video. So for today's video, we're actually doing Black Ops 4 Zombies. We're doing the entire Easter egg from all the way from Ancient, or not Ancient Evil, from Voyage Despair all the way to Tag Durant Zone. Or, yeah, Tag Durant Zone. That's it. So yeah, we're doing the entire Easter egg from beginning to end, except for Classify. Classify is the only one I'm not doing and I refuse to do. You couldn't pay me enough to try to for me to even attempt doing the Easter egg because just to like clarify like why I will never do that Easter egg I'm pretty sure you had to go 150 rounds like you had to survive 150 rounds in that map with guns that don't really do squat they're like pea shooters now I don't know how you would be able to do that I'll have to try and find some kind of glitch or like god mode glitch for that and honestly I'm not even trying to do all that because that's a little too much work now I'm sorry for the video um when I did record this video because I've been recording this I'm I recorded this beat some like most of the maps already and now I like I had an encoder issue so that was the reason why it is a little like I guess frame rate like the frame rate kind of like drops or like uh it's kind of like a little stuttery that's the reason why but i did change it for the next videos that are coming up so this is the only one that kind of got messed up but for this video i also had had myself my mic muted so i also messed up on that part too i fixed it for the blood of the dead easter egg so that it is fixed on that video for when it does come out but uh it is going to be fixed so for this video i'm not going to really try and go into the easter egg i'm going to try to like t like explain the things that we're doing like right now like but in terms of like the easter egg steps i don't really remember all these easter egg steps for this map because again voyage of despair was never one of my favorite maps honestly i always dread playing this and that's about it so first steps of all the easter eggs that are in black is four is to turn on pack a punch so for this map in particular voyage of despair you're supposed to go around the map looking for all these little ta i don't want to say tablets but it's kind of like these like pillar statue things and you're supposed to interact with it it's gonna have a symbol a red symbol above it but once you activate it like all four of them uh pack a punch is going to spawn and that's the only way for you to yes, do uh unlock or really that's the only way for you to do any of the easter egg steps so uh that's how you do it so right after you do all you open up a lock pack a bunch you need to go around the map and look for clocks so there's gonna be four different locations with uh different symbols so they're gonna have uh a triangle, a down triangle, up triangle, a down triangle with a line, and an up triangle with a line too. What you need to do is you need to take those times as they're all gonna be on the clock, and you need to take it to both the bridge, which is like the, I think it's the back of the boat. Then you need to take it to the front of the boat, where you had to interact with the. For me, they're both up arrows. With the little mirror, I don't remember what it's called, but you're gonna have to take, uh, you're gonna have to input the times into those uh dials, so. What I'm doing right now is I'm gathering up all the dot all the times and also for doing this Easter egg. Uh, well, doing this step in particular is best to write it down or at least make it like a, some kind of note because uh, this is very you're going to be doing a lot of running around and I it's, it's a lot of trial and error. So it's good to just know like what your exact times are. Now, the way you had to set this up is that for when you do put the times in because on the bridge for the bridge is always it's going to be your minute hands for the front of the ship it's because the it's going to be the front of the ship and then in the engine i think it's the engine room but oh on that side you're going to have uh the dials where you're going to, have to put in for the hour hands so it works just like how a clock does um stop is 12 o'clock uh, then you know you move one. It's one o'clock. Move two. It's two o'clock, or you know, five like o five or o. I don't know. Just it's like a clock. It's kind of like it's like hard to explain, but that's basically how it works. It just works just like a clock. So you take the your minute hands and so put them on a bridge. You take your hour hands, put them on 
the uh, in front of the ship and in the engine room, then that's pretty much about it. So for this Easter egg, you're also going to need the Kraken. There is a free way of getting the Kraken, but uh, for you getting it, you had to kill the Stoker, and he has to be able to drop the key. And the key is not a hundred percent; it's pretty random, and is uh, just pretty much best if you like spin box. So you're gonna to need to crack him for like the entire Easter egg. Not the entire Easter egg, but it's like pretty much mandatory for the Easter egg steps. So right here is uh, where we're putting in the hour hands for the. Uh, for I, I, what is it called I'm like drawing such a huge blank um, on the dials so there's gonna be two dials over there there's gonna be two dials on top of the engine room but that's where you're gonna be putting it at now for the hour hands uh, I don't remember I don't know which which symbols they correspond with so that's kind of like some you're gonna have to like look up and figure out but uh once you figure it out, you'll have it right, and well, hopefully you'll have it right. Sometimes you might have to do like a little bit of like tweaking here and there, because that's usually how it goes for me every time I play this map, um, and that's why I hate it. Then there's also like the planetary step, so we're not there yet, but like the planetary step just also sucks, because I mean, if you don't get the planets uh, in time, they just disappear, and then you fail that entire step, then... You could do you had to do that entire like portion all over again and it's just like it's just really annoying this is this whole easter egg has a lot of different steps where it's like if you fail it's going to set you back pretty far enough where it's going to make doing the easter egg both a drag and it's going to you know push things over like three hours because i think this entire video with without me editing this this entire video, I believe, was like three, two, either two and a half hours or three hours. And, like, that's... I, I, that's just how it is for this, like, this map. Or well, not this map, but this entire game. The, like, as Easter eggs go, this one pretty much has, like, the worst... The worst kind of Easter eggs. We just, like, because it's so... There's so many, like, e it's so many steps... Where it's just like little small steps. And then it's just like a whole bunch of running around. And then that's like kind of like what I hate about this map. Like this map just takes too long. And it really goes for all of the maps. They take too long to beat. It's too much. It's too many like unnecessary like easter egg steps. And that's kind of like where I feel as though like Black Ops 4 failed at. I mean, they both definitely failed at the fact that, like, if you got your shield broken, you had, to buy, you had to buy a new one. Then, like, all the weapons just suck. But the Easter eggs is also, like, what was icing on a cake of why this was so bad. Because in IW, and it's kind of like I'm going to, like, compare everything to IW, because that's probably, like, one of my favorite ones. My favorite zombies. Uh, in IW, is. There are bad pretty hangovers. small then yeah the wants. easter eggs aren't as bad but uh the easter eggs aren't as bad but the gun the weapons and all that type of stuff is what makes the game good because the weapons kill you're actually you get to be overpowered by beating all the maps and then redoing it so it was like really rewarding in a sense like right here i'm like i keep going back and forth just to try and figure out which dials is wrong and which one i need to fix so like right now i'm trying to see i'm trying to figure out like if i turned it correctly because the pieces for the it, it could be hard to tell sometimes and again it's just another reason why it's like i hate this map like this portion right here it's like what always gets me stuck and i could do this solo but doing it solo just makes it even harder just for like this one step and this is just the beginning of like the official easter egg well it is like your official first step of the real e of the beginning of the easter egg
But yeah, that's just this is what makes it hard and very time consuming because it's like you're going to be doing a whole bunch of running around in this map and you got to try and figure out what is right. So if once you do get the uh, dials correctly and fully correctly, you're going to have four outlets that are going to appear on the map and there's going to be different elements. So there's a fire, a top, yeah, no. fire, toxic, or I guess poison, whichever one you may call it. Uh, electric and water. So those are your four elements. And what you need to do is you need to get a kill uh, from one of the catalyst zombies to like from four to his corresponding element. So the outlets can spawn. I believe there's six locations. I believe. But uh, the forward order. Um, we're gonna get to it in a sec. But uh. I believe the order is toxic. Yep. Yeah, toxic water, electric fire. I believe that's how the order goes. I had to like see like what we did. So yeah, it's toxic first. And by the way, like every time you do like the outlet, so you go and uh, activate the outlet, you're gonna be doing a mini, like a kind of like a mini, not arena, but like a lockdown. That's it. You're gonna be doing a lockdown for each of the elements, and some of them are good, some of them are bad. It's definitely good to spin for homunculus. Um, the krakens are also really good too for this step, but the hellion salvo, which is like the wonder weapon by itself. Uh, is probably your best bet because I mean you're gonna be able to kill blade fathers easily. I think it takes like three shots. Yeah, I believe it takes like three shots, and like with it being fully pack punch, I think it's like three shots and maybe like five if you pack once. But yeah, hellion salvos are de are always going to be like your go-to weapon for like all the maps. Like for boss fights, it's just it's just one of the best things. So right now we're making our way to the water outlet. Then we're going to activate it, and what that's going to do is just going to also send us into another lockdown. But it's going, it's every lockdown is always going to be in a different location. But it's kind of like the same location like each time, but it's just going to be like a different location from like the ones that you did. So again, good to have homunculus. Um, for the water one, what I think really works is that. You really want to like throw your homunculus really like you want to throw it early because what makes the water one a lot harder than the rest of them is that you're constant every time you get you kill a water zombie more water fills the area so it's going to make it harder to like maneuver and then it's like kind of see these zombies too because like if it wasn't for me having death perception i wouldn't have saw the zombies Then for like for you doing uh, the different lockdowns, you do get a max too. So that's really good on that part too. Yeah. In terms of specialists, I don't, I don't really know which one would be the best one to bring. I do know that if you're playing like co-op, either co-op or even solo, you the scepter is kind of like one of the best ones. And you just said and, it. And. Uh, like the best, like that's probably like one of the best like specialists you could use. Um, the hammer is also really good too. My personal favorite is the, I think it's like uh, the drag, the viper and dragon. I think that's what it's called. But it's like a gun and some kind of like whip sword thing. And by the way, like the order we're doing this in is, uh, and this is. Same order every time you run this map. It's toxic, toxic po slash poison, uh, water, electric, fire. So I went to the fire one, um, little uh, like earlier, and it was the wrong one. I could I like drew a blank there, but uh, you're supposed to go to electric as your third um, lockdown. Then, by the way, like for. Make sure you also probably look at a video too, because uh, for like a real Easter egg guide, because this is not really a real Easter egg guide. 
I'm just trying to explain like what's kind of like happening. Um, mainly because I kind of like messed up the recording, and I still want to get it out here, out well, out there because I've been trying to like I've been trying to do this Easter egg for so long, and I wanted to do like all the Easter eggs for like each and every COD game that had zombies, and eventually. I'm going to do uh, Extinction 2 because I feel like Extinction was like a really nice game mode. I like I like the Extinction. And if you guys do not know what Extinction was, Extinction was a part of Ghost. So Ghost had was what well, uh, I think it was probably like I think it did okay. Um I think everyone mostly played it for the multiplayer. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone played it for multiplayer. Especially because you had the honey badger and honey badger the bulldog and a couple of good guns. So they had a really good uh, gun selection. But um, extinction was, an, I, I think extinction was a really good game mode. I, I was, I, I played it a lot. So eventually, I will be doing uh, extinction. Right now, as this video is kind of like going on, I am I should be starting uh, Advanced Warfare Easter eggs. I'm and I do have one video out for Advanced. I think I have two videos out for Advanced Warfare actually. Um, one is for Riot. You guys do not know the story behind uh, Advanced Warfare Zombies. Um, check that video out first. And. Uh, that way you can kind of like get like see the story behind it, and then uh, I did do outbreak. So those two videos should be out. Well, yeah, those two videos, yeah, they should be out. I'm not entirely sure. I had to probably check. I hear it's good. I I want to get it though. But yeah, now that we're done with the lockdown. We are missed so. Man. When you're finished with the lockdown, you need to shoot all these pipes. I think it's in the turbine room. Is it? I'm like watching a recording as I go. Because you, what you need to do is you need to uh, get the fire. You need to extinguish all the fire. So that's what you're doing. And with the Kraken, because this is something you can only you have to do with the Kraken. You need the acid element or uh, the poison element. If you don't have the poison element, then uh, you can't do the step. So you had to kill a poison. Hopefully, they drop the special part. And this is all the pipes are in here. I think there's 13 total. Um, here, I'm pretty sure there's like 13 like leaks total. But you're supposed to shoot it with a kraken with the poison element, and it's only on blue pipes, and it's only in the turbine room. So for me, it was a little hard to see. Uh, because all the little dark areas, you best way of like looking for the leaks is to, like just looking around, uh, look for fog, stuff. or not fog, but mist. The fucking then uh, you just gotta so shoot annoying. shoot it once. Uh, for I think I shot it like several times because I wasn't entirely sure. I think this is also like probably my first time ever doing this yeah, stuff. There's nine leaks. Like I'm actually doing this stuff. Like I've done this Easter egg before, and the, the team that I did it with, we lost. But this was like so far back when uh, I was still playing on console. Yeah, they're up. They should be like. In the, so yeah, all you gotta do is shoot the, the blue pipe. Things. Only yeah, shoot just the blue pipe that has leaks. And you just gotta shoot it with the acid element or a poison element. I keep thinking acid, but I guess it's poison. It's, I don't know, the green element. There you go. The green element. Alright, now I need to get a pack of lunch down here. It should be done. Like, in terms of the parts for huh? making of, like, changing the element, like giving, giving yourself an elemental uh, kraken, I do right not now, know the locations or the parts for it. Um, it just took me my duo had like, got all the parts for that. To get so. it. I have no clue where those parts are. If anything, I do I know motors, a little more about the other steps. And I got of the Easter egg, so I got the one. Let's be that. So after you flood the uh, turbine room, 
and you could drain the water right afterwards. What yeah, you need to do is you need to collect a whole bunch of symbols that just up. I, I don't think they the appeared, the but like level. they've been appeared. Like but the, basically, what you're doing is you're collecting a whole bunch of symbols because that's what you're gonna be taking to the. Mark, uh, Mars is the one that I found here. I want to call it a diagram. Saturn. Um, that's what is it? The solar Saturn system Mars. thing. But yeah, you're going to be taking, uh, collecting all the sol solar systems. Okay, that way, you can activate the little the solar room. system inside the mail room, room, and uh, then you, that's like for the next step. I mean, no, it's not. So for the step, it's not really time based. Yeah, Mars, um, and once you collect all the symbols, the then uh, then you start like shooting down the planets. Then is time based. But right now, what we're doing is we're going around the entire map. I can Finding a whole bunch of uh, Mars is on the bridge. A whole bunch of symbols and that we're collecting. And I believe there are. I noticed. Um, state room, state room, state room. That eight, is... I believe there's eight planets. Not nine, because Pluto is not a planet anymore. Um, it hasn't been like that since, for like some years. But. I think, yeah, because we, we also had to shoot the moon. Because you don't shoot the Earth, you shoot the moon. Since, so you know, we're it's on near Earth. like the little plants, like behind the plant. Then they also have the sun, too. So I believe there's, I believe there's like one either, it's either eight or nine symbols that you had to go around the map and collect. I got, I just got. But they're pretty, they're hitting pretty well. <gasps> See, not At least some of them are. I'm trying to look for the photo. Um, I think that one was Neptune. And I couldn't find that. Oh no, that was Uranus. So right now, I, I tried to activate the. Uh... Fuck. Okay, never mind. I did activate it. But yeah, what you need to do is you need to shoot down the planets in the, the last exact one order as, as the plans. diagram is showing you. Um, honestly, what I do recommend for this step is you want to have Hermunculus. Uh, Hellion Saw was also really good. Kraken, you definitely keep for the boss fight because I mean it's also a really good. This is eh, I'm going to say really good. It's fairly decent as a wonder weapon. Could be a little better, but it's fairly decent. But uh, you definitely want to run like elixirs where it's like it hides you from the zombies because it's like you want to buy as much time as possible that way you can see you see your order then maybe have like a diagram of like the different planets up that way you can you know tell like which planet is which because when i was doing this i could i didn't remember anything about like the planets i haven't like learned anything about planets in so long uh but once you shoot down all the star or um not stars, but all the planets and, the sun and all that. You need to collect your last planet, I, which I believe is the sun. I believe it's the sun always that is the, going to be your last. But once you collect that, you need to shoot down. You just need to um, progress through the entire, like back to the front of the boat, uh, destroying these little icebergs. And then you need to uh, just, I think there's another iceberg, like all the way at the end, which you could just. Uh, shoot from and, uh, I believe from like right here just like where you can start like shooting the uh, The other uh, iceberg so I was still shooting like the actual path of the ice I know why you show me favor. Yeah, yeah from there, you're all done so Now that you're Here you're you're actually on boss fight. So, what right after you're done finish shooting down all the planets <laughs> you're done you're on boss fight. Now, definitely yeah, prepare yourself for boss fight. Uh, again, the next best round. thing you could possibly bring to boss fight is Hellion Salvo. Still keep the Kraken. Then Homunculus. Homunculus are absolutely amazing. Um, not necessarily like something you need. As long as you have a Hellion Salvo, you're pretty much good. Um, but Homunculus definitely like are really good to have to like you know I'm, I'm draw the attention so like somewhere else but yeah this being done in all this um, then the giant I, I think i'm good here. i think the from me, portion of the recording is legend. good no more voiceover and uh yes it's a boss fight so yeah <laughs> oh another thing i'm not sure depending on how this video goes 
Um, yeah, there does. might not be a uh, ending cutscene because of copyright reasons. If you guys do not know, um, Call of Duty copyright. I wish we passed the round. Uh, basically, so we, so yeah, nice Call of Duty basically like, copyrighted all of the endings for Black Ops 4, which really sucks because I mean that means that you, well, that means that I just don't make any money for uh, for showing the cutscenes. So kind of sucks for me. But uh, maybe I might make maybe. I might do Something. a uh, ending cutscene, okay. like the whole Never video has like before, ending cutscenes for uh, to try Progress Forward. Yeah, shoot it at all yet. The, the yeah, eyeball didn't load in for me. Do, hope you guys do enjoy this crappy of a boss fight, um, mainly because of recording reasons. On, but yeah, Nothing. I'll see you guys in the next video. But the fucking, the eyeball isn't loading on my screen. <laughs> Not be down here. The eye may gain the advantage from higher ground. The shield's full right now, so unless unless yours isn't. Andrew.
Oh fuck. Of course it spawns right next to me. Fuck. No. I saw something get fucking blown my way. Do it though. Hmm. Now we actually have to start. Oh shit. Fuck. I can't. I can't. I can't tell if I'm getting hit markers or not. Because I can't see the fucking eyeball. <laughs> the eyeball is invisible. Okay, I am. Okay, good. I am getting a good hit marker. first two phases. I know. This eye is us dead. Come on, Ojo! Where's my challenge? You 
are lucky you only have one eye to damage. It's so hard to find the hitbox because I keep aiming at the outside. Because <laughs> it freaking makes a little flash, so I couldn't see my health. It's a different move, it's like when he starts sh shaking. Over there. I see the now I see the eye, but it's but he's I see the eye like before he's like the smoke comes and then it just covers it. Gonna do an insta kill. Mm. I don't have any more kills. <laughs>
Let's see how quiet. It all just went back to how it was before. No one will ever know. That apparition. I've seen it before. I know where it is. Is it somewhere you've been? Uh, no. Only in books. But I do know its location. Uh, Greece. Delphi, to be specific. Then that's where we're going next. The bad guys are there. There's a good chance my father is too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me see how long it took. I just want to see. <laughs> Not the best of the time, to be honest. But yeah. I definitely think most of that was because we kept messing up with the trials part. And 